Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is Dr. Mahmoud Ahmed, and back again to uh, IELTS Cambridge 11. We are now doing test three reading. Okay, it's academic reading, and we'll start with passage one, the story of silk. Okay, as usual, we will skip the reading passage and just move to the questions. Um, okay, we have the first question here is complete. Fill in the gap. Okay. First thing we do is check how many words am I supposed to fill in the ah one word, one word only. Okay, so get back to the questions around 3000 BC, according to legend. What happened? Silkworm cocoon fell into em emperor's wives. What? So let's now decide on the keywords. The first keyword is uh, 3000 BC. This is very clear. It will be very easy to get it on the passage. And a silkworm cocoon fell into the emperor's wife's what? OK. So the silkworm cocoon, this is another keyword. OK. Emperor's wife's what? OK. This is another keyword. Get back to the passage. Start from the passage. Silk is fine, smooth material produced in a cocoon. 3000 PC, here it goes. Who oh, discovered silkworms? Uh, the wife, yes, wife of yellow emperor, ruler ruler of China, in about. Discovered, no, 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 account. Okay, the cocoon fell in in her what? On account of the story goes, the was taking along in the husband's garden. She discovered the silkworm was responsible for the destruction of several men. She collected a number of cocoons. That happened. That while she was sipping some tea, one cocoon that I had collected landed in the hot tea. Aha! Landed in the hot tea. In the hot tea. So the answer is she fell in the in the emperor's wife's hot tea. Can we say hot tea? No. Tea. Only tea. Why is that? Why can't we say hot tea? Because we are supposed to fill in the gap with only one word. So the answer is T. Get back to the OK, next question. Emperor's wives, Emperor's wife invented a what to pull out silk fibers? Invented a what? Invented a what to pull out silk fibers? Pull out silk fibers. This is another keyword. So she invented what to pull out the silk fibers? Get back to the passage. OK, this kind of question normally goes in order. So if you stop, if you get number one from here, you will look for number two after this part, not before, OK? found that she could win this about her fingers. She persuaded her husband to allow her to rear her worms. She also devised, aha, devised means invented, a special reel to draw the fibers. Thank you very much. She devised a reel. Devise means to what? To invent. Okay, so the answer is a special reel, but we have to use only one word, so we will use the word huh, reel. Okay, okay, so the answer is reel. Next, only hmm, were allowed to produce silk. Only what were allowed to produce silk? Who were allowed to produce silk? Okay. And after the fabric, silk uh, has existed in China for several millennia. Okay, uh, originally, silk was solely, aha, uh -huh. solely means what? Solely means only. So I think this is something that drags attention. Solely, only, restricted to women, aha, uh aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Silkworm farming was solely to women. Okay, so restricted means only. Um, Let's get back and see the question again. Allowed to produce silk? Yes, OK, OK. So this is number three is women. Number three is women. OK. Only, again, only again, were allowed to wear silk. Who were allowed to wear silk only? OK. going. Uh, and originally, only, only, again, only again which is, again, uh -huh. royalty were entitled to have clothes made of silk. Uh -huh. So the only people who were allowed to wear silk were the royalty. So the answer is royalty. One word only, OK? Remember, royalty. Number five, silk used as a form of what? 
okay? Cell queues as a form of what? Example, we have here example. Example is very important. Farmer's taxes consisted partly of silk. Farmer's taxes. So we will look for farmer's taxes, okay? We will look for silk was used as a form of what? Get back to the passage. <coughs> Quickly grew into a symbol of status and originally loyalty. Okay, we, we, we took this. The rules were gradually relaxed during Mm hmm Move down. Also entitled to wear silk sometimes during the uh, surprise that was all his rate of currency. Government officials were paid their salary in silk and farmers paid their taxes. Aha, uh -huh. paid their taxes in grain and silk. Aha. Uh -huh. Farmers paid their taxes, so the answer is here. So it was used as what? It was used as what? Silk was priced that it was announced as a unit of currency. Aha, uh -huh. currency. So it was used as a unit of currency. It was used like money. So uh, silk was used as a form of currency. OK. Got it? Currency. OK. Um, number six. Evidence found of what? Made from silk around 168 AD. So this is an, an important keyword, 168 AD. And Evidence found of what? Made from silk. What was made from silk? What was made from silk in 168 AD? We'll look for this um, date. We'll look for this year in the passage. Here it is. Here it is. So it, again, evidence of what was made from silk. Paid their taxes in Granada. Silk was used, diplomatic gift by emperors, fishing lines, musical instruments, and papers. The earliest indication of silk paper being used was discovered in the tomb uh, uh -huh, was discovered in the tomb of Nobel who is estimated to have died so this is evidence this discovery is evidence what was this silk paper so the answer is silk paper two words again we'll use one word so it's uh, paper I think evidence found of paper made from silk this is it yes th that's it thank you very much paper made from silk so the answer is paper now move down what is the question? Uh, silk reaches the rest of the world. Again, fill in the gap. Merchants used silk road to take. So the answer is silk road to take silk uh, westward and bring back what? And precious metals. Bring back, bring back what? And precious metals. So silk road is a keyword, OK? And another keyword is westward. And I think precious metals also is a keyword. Get back to the passage. Okay, uh, we stopped. We're here. Okay, demand eventually created. Silk road. Silk road. Here it is. Taking silk westward and bring, bring. Yes, bring what? Gold and silver, which are precious metals, and what? And wool to the east. And wool. So precious metals and wool. So the answer is wool. Very easy, huh? Wool. Okay, did we stop? Um, okay, 550 AD. Hide silkworm eggs in canes and take them to Constantinople. Okay, 550 AD. What happened? In 550 AD, this is a keyword, and I think Constantinople is is also another keyword. 550 and Constantinople. Get back to the passage. Um, okay, we're on the second page. So the code is in open parameters. So we're looking for 550. Not here, it's Um 550, here it is. Okay. Um, East during the period, according to another legend, makes monks working for uh, the Byzantine emperor. Smuggled silkworm eggs. Uh, here it is. Monks smuggled silkworm eggs to Constantinople. So who 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 did hide the silkworms? Monks. Monks. So the answer is monks hide silkworm eggs in canes and took them to Constantinople. Okay. So the answer is. Monks. Okay. 
number 9, 20th century, and other man-made fibers cause decline in silk production. Okay, we'll look for the 20th century, and we will, we will uh, look for what caused the decline in the silk production. Up again, 20th century, look for 20th century, 19th century here. This is not what we're looking for. Okay, move forward, 20th century. Where are you? In the 20th century, new man-made fibers such as nylon started to be used in what had traditionally been silk products. The two world wars which interrupted the supply of raw minerals. Again, I think we need to go back again. Cheaper Japanese silk trade in which greatly facilitated the opening of the Swiss Canal was one of the main factors driving the trend. Then in the 20th century, in the 20th century, here it is, new man-made fibers such as nylon started to be used okay get back to the question because i forgot it 20th century what and other man-made fibers man-made fibers caused decline in silk products other man-made fibers um, new man-made fibers such as nylon started aha uh -huh, so the answer is nylon started to be used nylon mm -hmm, okay so the answer is nylon Okay, good. Very clear. Okay. Now, true or false. Number 10. Gold was the most valuable material transported along the Silk Road. Okay, so we will look for uh, gold in the passage. And, of course, it's in the part of the passage about the Silk Road. And we would like to know about it, whether it was the most valuable material or not. Get back again. Gold. Silk Road, I think it was, yes, it was here. Here it starts to talk about the Silk Road, okay, taking Silk westward, and bring gold, silver, and well to the east. It was named as Silk Road after its most precious, aha, uh -huh. look here, Silk Road after it was named, the Silk Road after its most precious commodity. So what was the most precious, the most valuable commodity? Silk, okay. So the answer of number, um, 10, it says gold is the most valuable. No, silk was the most valuable. So this is false. What happens if you say this is wrong? You write the word wrong, for example, or you write F instead of writing the word false. You lose the mark. Okay, so make sure you stick to the codes here. Okay, make sure you stick to them. Number 11, most tradesmen, this is a key word, only went along certain sections of Silk Road, okay? We would like to know if they went through certain sections or what. Get back to the passage and um, move on. Silk Road, following the Great Wall of China, climbing, crossing Afghanistan. This is, these are the roads, so it should be here. Crossing modern day Afghanistan and going to the Middle East, and the major in Damascus. Few, few merchants, aha, uh -huh. few merchants traveled the entire route. Goods were handled mostly by a series of middlemen. So it says here, few merchants traveled the entire route. Goods were handled mostly by the series of middlemen. Okay. Okay, so the question here says what? It says most tradesmen only went along certain sections of the. Yes, yes, this is correct. This is correct. Okay, because it says here, very few people took the entire route. Okay, so this is right, this is true. The Byzantines spread the practice of silk production across the West. I think Byzantines is a key word, spread the practice of silk production uh, across the West. This is another key word, silk production across the West. Let's go back to the passage and see. Um, here it is, the, the Byzantines. Byzantine Emperor, according to, uh, 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 uh. okay, uh, Constantinople, Istanbul, okay, uh, the Byzantines were as secretive as the Chinese, however, okay, okay, they were, they were secretive, so the question says, the Byzantines spread the practice across the West, no, they, no, no, they were secretive, so this is false, 
This is false. Silk yarn makes up the majority of silk currently exported from China. Silk yarn, this is a key word, makes up the majority of silk exported from China. This is another key word, exported from China. This is the key word. You can back to the passage and look for silk yarn. Um, Okay, number 13, not yet, not here. Up. Not first paragraph, back. Scan quickly. We don't want to lose time. Not here. Maybe I missed it. Maybe I should get back. I don't know. Uh, oh, here, 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 here. Okay, no, I didn't miss it. Good luck. Um, it says here, this is here you are. Okay, so we will read the, this part carefully. China has gradually recaptured its position as the biggest producer and exporter of raw silk. Okay, China is the biggest producer of silk yarn. Today, around metric tons of silk produced in the world. But it doesn't say whether yarn is takes the, the, the most part of the, of the, exportations so I think this is not given why not given because it says here that China is the biggest producer as I'm sorry is the biggest exporter of silk yarn okay but it does not say whether silk yarn is the majority of what they export or what so this here is not given yes it is the biggest producer but we don't know whether most of what it uh, exports is silk yarn or not so this is not given maybe it produces it exports something uh, more so again this is the end of section one let's move to section two great migrations okay again skip 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 and go to the questions again true false not given I think this test is a good practice for uh, for true false not given if you would like to practice these kind of questions Okay, um, local gulls and migrating Arctic terns behave in the same way when offered food. Okay, let's see. So go back to the passage and see what, what, what you, what's this? Local gulls, these are the keywords, and Arctic terns, this is another keyword, uh, and we would like to say if they behave the same when they are offered food or what? Local gulls and Arctic terns. Get back to the passage and try to spot them. Mm, not here. Yes, here it is. Here it is. Local gulls. Okay. Uh, and then the tern. Okay, I think I think it's here. Let's read it carefully. Uh, my smell hearing offered. Having offered from a bird watches boat along the way, while looking at the dive voraciously, such handouts. I can fly Why again? Look at the turn, fly to the extreme south. Look at the notice of a nice smelly herring. Aha, herring. Offered, this is food, smelly herring. Offered from a bird watcher's boat along the way, while local gulls will dive, dive, so the gulls will dive for such handouts, and turns flies on, and the turn flies on. So they act in, in different ways. They, are not, they don't act in the same behavior. So local gulls and migrating uh, behave in the same way. No, no, this is, this is false. I don't know what gulls are. Maybe I should check them in the dictionary. False, okay. Experts definitions of migrating, of migration tend to vary. Okay, so we're looking for the definitions of experts uh, tend to vary according to the area of study. So. Migration, definition of migration, they vary according to the area of study, okay? Get back to the passage and move on. Mm -hmm. Looking for definitions, huh? Not here. Another column. Not here. Aha, uh -huh. biologists define. Biologists are experts define. Migration is a complex issue and biologists Define it differently. Aha, uh -huh, differently. They define it differently depending on the part. In depending in part on what sorts of animals they study. 
I think yes, it, it differs. So yes, the answer here is true. Yes, true. Very few experts agree that the movement of aphids, this is another keyword, can be considered migration. So movement of aphids can be considered migration. This is, these are the keywords. Let's look for aphids here in the passage. Not here, we stopped here last time, so it seems not in this paragraph. Let's go to the next paragraph. Uh -huh. So can the movement of aphids, here the movement of aphids, so this is the key word. Get back to the passage, get back and read. Uh, upward, about daily vertical movements, upward nine, uh, the word by daily escape the predators can also be considered migration. So can the movement of aphids when having depleted the young leaves for them and then fly upward, with the turning, it started, nothing about migration, dingle. I studied insects, and definition is more interesting than bugs. I think five different, uh, I think no more mentioning of aphids here. So this is the part of about aphids, okay? No mentioning of aphids comes afterward. Um, I think it's not given because it doesn't say whether it's migration or not. But again, what we do here is um, we guess it's not given, it's not given, but we do not say for sure. Uh, we know it's not given for sure when we find the answer of the next question and then we get back to spot it between this, this question and this one and then we can judge number 16 to be not given. Aphids journey are affected by changes in the light that they perceive. In the light that they perceive. So number 17, in the light that they perceive. They are left the fact that, for example, aphids will become sensitive to blue light uh -huh, from the sky when it's time to take off. So they are affected by the, the by the light, yes, because they are sensitive to the blue light and sensitive to yellow light. Again, it says here, sensitive to yellow light reflected from I don't know what. So number 17 is true. Okay, now pay attention. Number 17 is true. We got it. Number 15 is um, true also. We got it also. But number 16, we couldn't find it. We couldn't find it between number 16 and number seven, uh, between number uh, 15 and number 17. Okay? We couldn't find number 16 between number 15 and number 17. So this means number 16 is not given. Here we can say it for sure it's not given. Okay. Number 18. Dingle's clay aim, Dingle's aim. So we have somebody here, like scientist, Dingle. This is a key word. To distinguish between the migration, the migratory behaviors of different species. Okay. So migratory behaviors, this is a key word, and different species is another key word. Get back to the passage. We stopped here last time, correct? So we should move on. Look for Dingle. Dingle uh -huh, argues is that it focuses attention on what the phenomenon of wine and immigration shares with the phenomenon of aphids and therefore helps guide researchers towards understanding how evolution has produced them. So the guy is interested in evolution. Um, human behavior, however, is having on pronghorn, it seems to be antelope, horse, and the population. Just making sure. Yes, so again, the guy is interested about evolution, not about migratory behaviors. So I think this is false. Number 18 is false. Hmm. OK, move on to the next question. So what should happen here is it's like you, you complete this sentence, OK, from one of these choices according to the passage, okay? So what are these choices called? They're called distractors. They are made to distract you, okay? So what you should do is forget all about them in the first phase. What you should do is complete the sentence from the passage as if it's, it's like filling the gap, and then you move to the distractors 
or to the choices, and you pick up one of them. Okay? Again, we will complete these sentences from the passage as if there are no choices. And after we do complete them, we will get back to the choices and choose a letter. Okay? Okay, according to Dingle, so it's Dingle here is a keyword. Migratory routes are what? Migratory routes. This is another keyword. Are what? Are likely to what? Get back to the passage. Look for Dingle. Okay. Um, where is this guy? Um, uh huh. Dingle has five characters that apply. We're looking for migratory rules, routes now. These combinations to all migrations. They are prolonged movements uh, that carry animals. They tend to be linear. They are prolonged movements. They carry outside familiar habitats. Habitats, maybe. They tend to be linear, not zigzaggy. Uh, tend to means are likely to. So linear means like a line. They are not zigzaggy. They are involved special behaviors concerning preparation. OK, so I think linear is the key word, is the answer. Because here it says the movements outside their habitats tend to be, which, is, which means likely to be linear. So get back to the questions and let's choose something. Uh, according to the angle, the routes are likely to be discouraged, no. Travel open when they look out for prison, no. Eat more, no. Be repeatedly daily, no. Uh, ignore distractions, no. Be given by everybody, no. Follow a straight, aha. Follow a straight line. Follow a straight line. So here, what should we write here? Should we write follow a straight line? If you write in your answer sheet, follow the straight line, you lose the mark. What you should write here is simply A. That's it. Okay? Do not write any other thing. If you write follow a straight line or linear or any other thing, you lose the mark. He say, the question he says, write the correct letter, A to G. So follow a straight line, okay? Number 20, to prepare for migration, animals are likely to what? To prepare for migration. Prepare for migration. This is the key word. Animals are likely to what? What do they do when they prepare for migration? Um, we stopped here. They involve special behavior concerning preparation, uh -huh. such as overfeeding. Thank you very much. And arrival, overfeeding. They demand special condition of energy and more migrating animals. So the key word is overfeeding. They are likely to overfeed, to eat too much. So um, animals are likely to be discouraged, travel, eat more, uh -huh. eat more than they need. Thank you. So the answer is C. Very clear. This one is easy. C. During migration, animals are likely to. Animals are likely to what? During migration. During. This is during migration. Animals are unlikely, I'm sorry, unlikely to do what? Unlikely to do what? Um, okay, get back here. We stopped here. And more migration animals um, and arrival, they demand special allocations of energy and one more migrating animals maintain an intense attentiveness to the greater mission which keeps them undistracted by the temptations and undeterred by the challenges that would turn other animals aside. So they are unlikely to what? Unlikely. Uh, they maintain atten attentiveness and, and they are not to be distracted. Unlikely to be distracted. And they have attention. So let's get back and see something that fits this from the child. Be discouraged by difficulties. Mm, maybe. Travel open, no, be repeated, ignore distract, ignore distractions, unlikely to ignore, no. Uh, maybe be discouraged by difficulties, because it says here, it says, um, which keeps them undistracted by temptations and under, undeterred by challenges. Undeterred by challenges. Okay, they are not discouraged by challenges, difficulties, so they are unlikely to be discouraged. This is it, number A. Number A. Um, Arctic turns illustrate migrating, this is Arctic turns, I think, I think this is a keyword, illustrate migrating animals ability to, the ability to what? So we look for Arctic turns and would like to see the ability to what? Again, uh, again, 
up two turns and ability to what? 22, okay. The Arctic turns resist distraction because it is driven as a sense of something we humans find admirable purpose. In other words, it is determined to reach the destination. The bird senses that it can eat, rest, and mate later. Okay, right now, it is totally focused on the journey. So it's, I think it's the ability to be focused on some certain goal to um, the sense like perseverance or larger purpose. Okay reach the destination, reach the destination maybe. Get back to the choices and let's see. Maybe you can get it. Travel open, they can look out for predators, no. Uh, eat more, no, be repeated, no, ignore distractions. Uh, I think it's, I think ignore distractions because it's like determination, be governed by the availability, follow straight line. I think, yeah, ignore distractions. Get back to the passage and see here. It says, uh, mm, I can resist, uh, resist distractions. Yes, resist distractions. Re this is the word, resist distractions, because it is driven at the moment by an instinctive sense of something. Yes, resist the distraction. This is the answer. Get back to the question and and the answer is, Ignore distractions. Thank you. So it's number E. It's number E. Okay, next questions. The migration of prong horns. What's that? Okay, the migration of, again, one word only. This is very challenging. One word only. The migration of pro, pro, prong horns. Prong horns re rely rely on their eyesight. So I think this is the key, first keyword we need to look at, or number four, uh, pronghorns, rely on their eyesight, and what? To avoid, to avoid predators. Uh, okay, uh, eyesight, and so let's look for the word pronghorns. I don't think they are here in this page. Uh, Um, okay. We look at, looked at this before. Uh huh. Pronghorns. Let's get before and see if it's mentioned before. Uh, these pronghorns. Okay. Migration. Uh -huh. Pronghorn. I th this is it. Okay. This is here where it is mentioned. They depend on their eyesight and what. So let's look for the word eyesight and um, and see what else. Mammals, population in summer in mountains, grand animals, roots, summer, range, frozen bonds. What are these pronghorns? Notable of income migration. What? Severity with three or three bottlenecks and they can pass through each. No, nothing about eyesight yet. Pass through a green keep. They are likely to die. No problem. Dependent on distant vision. Aha, vision. Dependent. Rely on means dependent. Depend on. Rely on means depend on. Dependent on distant vision. Distance vision and the speed and speed. Thank you very much. Vision, which is eyesight and speed. Okay. So the answer is eyesight and speed. Speed. To avoid predators, one particular uh, population, summer habitat, is a national park. So this is a keyword. And their winter home is on the what? So the su in the summer, they inhabit a national park. This is a keyword. In the summer, they inhabit a national park. And in the w in winter, they, they live where? This is the keyword. This is the question we need to know. Get back to the passage. Um, I, over winter, uh -huh. pass through, over winter here, 
okay, I passed through again in autumn, escaping south onto the wind blown plains. They are likely to die trying to uh, overwinter in the deep snow, pronghorn dependent on distance. I'm gonna, gonna, gonna high. Mm, I think we should go back. Kill uh, private homes increasing. I think we should go back, okay? Go back and see in the passage. Um, they pass through the they three during the spring migration. They can't reach their bounty. Summer gazing, summer grazing. If they can't pass through again, autumn escaping south to the uh, plains, they are likely to die trying to deep snow. Um, I don't know where it is. Eyesight. I don't know what. Okay. I think it's planes. Because onto these one long planes, they, they, in the winter, they dwell these planes. Uh, I could, did I try? So in, in the winter, they live in planes. I don't know, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, these are notable for their environment and immigration routes. Yes, planes. Because there is no other place mentioned here. So it's planes. Number 24 is planes. It's weird. OK, um, 25, the road between these two areas contains three. I, I've seen the word three in the, in, the, in the passage. Three what? I've seen it here. I've seen it around here. Uh, three bottlenecks. Thank you very much. And there is no other mention of any other number in this part. So it's three bottlenecks. The answer is bottlenecks. At the same time, and just write it as it is. What's happening? 25. Bottlenecks. Okay. And uh, one problem is the construction of new homes. So we're looking for a problem. Construction of new homes. This is another keyword. In a narrow what? Or land or la of land on the pronghorns, pronghorns route. So we look for new homes and in a narrow what? Um, okay, here, we are here. Dependent on distant vision and speed, kept from predators. There is high open shoulders and land, of land where they can see and run. At one of the bottlenecks, forests hill rise to the corridor, corridor, leaving a corridor of open ground only meters wide. Only, maybe this is narrow, filled with uh, private homes. Aha, uh -huh. filled with private homes, so the construction of homes. Aha. Uh -huh. Increasing development landing crisis, which is a problem. So the answer is here, leaving a corridor of open ground. So the answer is corridor. This is the corridor of 150 meters with homes. So this is narrow because it's only only 150 meters. How did we know it's narrow? Because of the word only, leaving a corridor. So the answer is corridor, a narrow corridor. It's, it's very weird in this passage that um, that questions were not in order, although it should have been in order. I mean, we, 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 we had to get back in the passage more than once to look for answers, and this is not very common in the IELTS. What, what, what normally happens in the IELTS is that to fill in the gaps questions go in order in the passage. But this didn't happen here. I don't know why. OK, third passage, section three, which is the most difficult. My brains are starting to melt. A reference to books that assume lack a lack of mathematical knowledge. So we will look for in the passage. We will look for books, books that assume the lack of mathematical knowledge. Lack of mathematical knowledge. This is a very tough kind of questions because we will need to scan almost all the paragraphs in the, in the passage. So let's scan them very quickly. Number A. 
Uh, it's about preface to how the other half thinks adventures in mathematical reasoning. This is a, a book, it seems, preface, because it's a preface. How the other half thinks adventures in the mathematical. OK. Occasionally, OK, we're looking for, again, don't forget, we're looking for what? We're looking for uh, a reference to books that assume a lack of mathematical knowledge. OK. Phenomenon. No, not here. It's books, not one book. Chapter. No, not here. Each chapter uses mostly elementary arithmetic. No, one of the purpose in writing this book. So it's about this book again. No, in that respect, the book. This book differs. No, uh, number C. I hope this book will help bridge the notorious gap and separates two cultures. Uh, not mm, books, 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 books. Other scientists have written books to explain books. Uh huh to explain their fields to non-scientists, but have necessarily had to omit the math, uh -huh, delete mathematics. Books with no, with lack of knowledge of mathematics, omit the mathematics, although it provides foundation for the theories. So uh, it's number D, the answer is number D. This is number D. Okay. Uh, 28, the way in which this is not a typical book about mathematics. How is this book not a typical not a typical book in mathematics? How is this? Okay, the way. Get back to A. Occasionally some difficult mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, not not number A. Not number A. Let's go to uh, number uh, paragraph B. One of my purposes in writing this book is to give readers who haven't had the opportunity to see uh, appreciate mathematical I think uh, uh, to I want to reveal not only some of the fascinating discoveries, but I think this is something about why it's not a usual book. In this respect, this book differs from aha uh -huh, differs from most books on mathematics. Thank you. So it's not like other books. So it is in this respect, in this way, in this way, in this respect means in this way. This book differs in most. So again, this is number B. This is number B. Thank you. Personal ex examples, personal examples of being helped by mathematics. Personal, we're looking for something. Personal examples helped by mathematics. Personal examples helped by mathematics. Not A, not B. Let's look at C. I hope this book will help you. No, 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 no gap between uh, cultures. Nothing personal here. D, we already took it. E, still, the mathematical reasoning. This book presents the detailed illustration of thinking, which involves something, nothing personal in E. F, as I wrote, I keep in mind to. Mm -hmm, no. This book also serves as what? A physician wrote. Uh, maybe number G. A physician wrote. And there's a point of mathematics. A lawyer made. So. A lawyer and a physician. I think this is example how people are helped by mathematics. The principal article thought process in mathematics prepared me extremely well for medical school. So here we see that mathematics helped him. A lawyer made the same point. Although I had no background in law, not even on political science course, I did well. And I attribute much of my success there to having learned through the study of mathematics. So here how mathematics helped them. So number 29 is G. Number 30, examples of people who each had abilities that seems incompatible. Examples of people, OK, had abilities that seemed incompatible. Abilities incompatible. OK, people who had abilities incompatible. This is very tough, OK. Not A, not B. We are already familiar with them. I hope this book will help bridge the gap between the separate two cultures, maybe com not compatible, separate the, humani the humanities and the sciences, or should I say the right brain, intuitive, and the left brain, maybe, straight mathematics, intuition plays a significant role, and uh, completely overcome by anyone, in part, especially our human potential, I said structure engineer, who is an artist, an electric engineer, who is an opera singer, an opera singer who published mathematical research and a mathematician who published short stories. I think this is it. People who look incompatible. 
all these people look incompatible. So the answer is C. The answer is C examples. Okay, these are very good examples. C. Number 31, mention of different focuses of books about mathematics. Different focuses of books about mathematics. Different focuses, okay, of books about mathematics. Back to the passage. Um, not A, B, not reveal. What reveal only some fascinating discoveries. Some present, written for the public, some present, then I'll cover for mathematics. Others describe, uh huh. I think this is it. Some books present the lives of colorful mathematics, others describe important applications of mathematics, yet others go to the mathematical procedures. But I assume that three, okay, so this is number B. How different books focused on different aspects of mathematics? This is number B. So is it okay to take the same number again? Yes, no problem. You may use, it says here you may use any letter more than once. So it's number B. Number B, okay. The contrast between reading this book and reading other kinds of publication. What is the contrast of reading this book and other kinds of publication? I'm sure it's not in A, B, C. We are done with them. Uh, D also, we're done with them. How about E? Still, the mathematical reader can go far understanding mathematical reasoning. The book presents detail. How it's di it is different from other publications. Remember, don't forget what we're looking for. Um, this book presents the details of the straight mathematical style of thinking, which involves a step-by-step -step analysis, experiments, and insights. You run these pages more slowly than reading a novel. Aha! Uh -huh. More slowly than reading when reading a novel or newspaper. It may help you review pencil and paper ready to check claims. Maybe, uh, maybe this is it, I, but I'm not sure. So let's look at other uh, paragraphs and get back to number E. Sometimes we do this as a lot of types of readers. Now here it talks about the types of readers, not the publications. A physician wrote, okay, we, we're done with number G. So number E, it says here, it's different from reading a novel or reading newspaper. I think this is it. This is this is number, um, contrast with reading this book and other types of publication, other kinds of publication. Yes, this is it. Number 23 is um, E, paragraph E. Number 33, a claim that the whole of the book is accessible to everyone. The whole of the book is accessible to everyone. Um, get back to number, I, I think I saw something like this. Um, I'm not sure where, not here. Anyone can understand every step in this, in the reasoning. Anyone can understand every step. Maybe this is it, maybe, I'm not sure. So. Let's go look somewhere else. Maybe we find something closer. Not here, not B. C. Uh, not C. Uh, not e. Okay, so it's number A. It's number A. Number A. Uh, a reference to different categories of intended readers of this book. Okay. Okay, like the target audience. Who are supposed to read this book? Not not A, B, not B, C. Oh, I'm still in B, not C. Um, not C, D. Uh, spectator rather than an involved participant, other scientists have uh, provides foundation of their theories. The reader must remain a spectator rather than uh, maybe since the appropriate language describing the details. Maybe number D, I'm not sure. Let's go downward and see. Maybe we'll find something closer. Not E, I'm sure. F, as I wrote. Uh, that's, that's really, ah, two types of readers those who enjoyed mathematics. And, uh, and mathematics, and okay, I think, yes, this is it. This book also serves readers who simply want to sharpen their analytical skills. Many, okay, so it's number F, definitely number F. 
it's definitely number F. Okay, the target audience for the for the book. Okay, it's number F. Okay, go downward, downward. Write your answer one word only. Again, complete. Again, only one word. Some areas of both music and mathematics are suitable for someone who is a what? Okay, so we are looking for music and mathematics. I remember in the first paragraph there was something about music, maybe. Um, occasionally, some compositions easy parts for the, uh, some musical compositions. There, there are beautiful but easy parts. Parts so simple, a beginner could play them. So is with mathematics as well. So, so is with here is the part. So is with mathematics as well. So music and and mathematics. Okay. Um, it says here, someone some areas of both music and music are suitable for someone who is a who is what a what. Who is a what? Suitable for a person who is a what? Who is a difficult music composition, beautiful but easy for simple. A beginner. A you a beginner. Here it is. A beginner. So the answer is a beginner. It's easy when you spot the the part of the passage. Then it is very easy. A beginner. Okay. Okay. It is sometimes possible to understand advanced mathematics. So the keyword here is advanced. Mathematics. This is the keyword. Where have we gone? Advanced mathematics. Using no more than a limited knowledge of what? So, advanced mathematics and limited knowledge. These are these are the keywords. Advanced mathematics. We've gone so far. Advanced mathematics and limited knowledge. Uh, advanced mathematics that do not depend on stationary but even algebra geometry. Uh huh. Instead, at most, a little arithmetic knowledge. Thank you very much. Here it is. Very knowledge of arithmetic knowledge. Very knowledge of limited knowledge of arithmetic. Okay, here it is. Limited means little knowledge of arithmetic. Okay. Okay, number 37, the writer intends to show that mathematics requires what? To show that mathematics requires, okay, the, the writer in this book, in his book, intends to show that mathematics requires what? Thinking, which kind of thinking? As well as analytical thinking, so this is a keyword. I think this is very easy. Uh, okay, go back. Mm, elementary only, elementary. Chance of process and mathematical experience of producing analytical thinking or analytical thinking. Opportunity. Does anything discover what importantly the reasoning behind them? I think we, we are here again, again, again. A chance to participate in mathematical experience of providing to become familiar with the logical and intuitive thinking. Again, uh, I need to go back to the question again. Um, forgot it. The writer intends to show that mathematics requires what thinking as well as analytical thinking. Okay. The thinking in each chapter uses most elementary arithmetic and that. Thus, the reader will have the chance to participate in mathematical experience to, ap to appreciate the beauty of mathematics and become familiar with logical yet intuitive style of thinking. Intuitive. Logical means analytical. Okay, and intuitive, this is what it says here. Okay, so number 37 is, number 37 is intuitive. Requires intuitive thinking. Intuitive. Okay, number 38, some books written by by someone have had to leave to leave out the mathematics that's central to the, the to the theories. 
okay, leave out. I think this is a key word, the mathematics and theories. Some books written by whom? Back, we stopped at here, B. One of the purposes of this book. Okay. We're looking for books, different books. Most books in mathematics are looking for general public. Some presents that I've color for mathematics. And no, 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 not here. Books written by whom? We're looking for someone or some people. I hope the book will help. Study to cultures. Mm -hmm. Capacity to illustrate human potential. Mm, other scientists have written books. Aha, uh -huh. other scientists have written books to explain their fields of non-scientists uh, to non-scientists, but have necessarily had to omit mathematics. Aha, uh -huh. leave out. Omit means to leave out mathematics. So who wrote the books? Scientists. <coughs> scientists. So number uh, 38 is scientists. Number 39, the writer advises non-mathematical readers to perform what while reading the book? I think uh, we, 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 go, we went through this when uh, he said that I have a paper and pencil, take notes. Um, I think we went through this where um, capacity, the brain to illustrate the potential, I cite structure engineer. No, um, okay, let's move forward. Your science thinking, which involves sustainable step by step analysis, experiments, insights. You will turn these pages much more slowly than these. Really. Uh -huh, no, no, no. no. Uh -huh. It may help to ha have a pencil and a paper ready to check claims and carry out experiments. Check claims and carry out experiments. So, carry out experiments and check claims. The writer advises non medical readers to perform what? Perform experiments. To check and check claims. Okay, perform experiments. Okay, number 40, a lawyer found that studying what helped even more than other areas of mathematics. Studying what helped even more than other areas of mathematics in the study of law. The lawyer, I think it was in the last paragraph. Uh, a physician wrote, a lawyer made the same point, although I had no background in law, even political science course, I did well on the best schools. I attribute my success to having learned through the mathematics and in particular theorems, aha, uh -huh, theorems. Theorems helped him. Complicated principles. Lawyer have studied mathematics. Okay. Theorems. So the answer for number 40 is theorems. Okay. This is it. This is the end of uh, this uh, section. This is the end of the uh, reading passage. I have to remind you that the reading test is only one hour, including the time you need to uh, copy your answers to the answer sheet. So always have uh, like five or ten minutes by the end of the test to copy your answers by uh, from from the question sheet to the answer sheet or uh, you, you can uh, you can answer straight in the straightly in the answer sheet thank you very much and uh, um, I'll see you in the next test